good. Home bites. Chris, why are you using the back door? Are you afraid all the reporters will know that you want another kiss? Scream, nobody can hear you. Now, where is your mother? She ran away from you. Oh, thank God, oh, thank God you didn't hurt her. And you never will because they're gonna put you in jail, you maniac! I'm still alive. I don't know how. We'd better call her and warn her. You don't think he'd go to the house? I mean, knowing that the police are after him, would he do that? We've got to call her and see all if right, she's all right. all right. Just calm down, all right? Call her. That's a good idea. We need to tell her that you're okay anyway. But listen to me. That kid has been through hell. Don't scare her any more than you have to, Mom. There we go. Have a seat. Now we're gonna call mommy. I won't help you trap my mom. Oh, yes, you will. Because I can make people disappear, remember? And this time there won't be water in the syringe. I won't help you get your hands on my mom. Oh. Well, maybe I just won't kill you. Maybe I'll kill your sister. And what's what's her son's name? That cute little boy. Is it Daniel? I'm going to pick up that phone, and I want you to answer in a normal, calm voice. Do you understand? Any hints? And you're dead in less than two minutes. Hello? Allie? Sweetheart, it's Mom. Mom, it's so good to hear your voice. Mom, where are you? I'm at the police station with Emily. We just wanted to make sure you're okay. Allie, are you okay? Answer. Sure. I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. We are, too. Oh, we're just waiting for how to call and, and tell us that they've caught Rick. Don't say a word if you want to see Allison alive. Are you listening? Yes. Now come home. Come alone. If you tell anyone, I'll kill your baby. And this time she'll stay dead. Whatever you say, Allie. Hurry home. I miss our little family get-togethers. Emily, uh, I can't do that herbal tea. Please, just one cup of coffee. Yeah, sure. Listen, I'm gonna have the police send a cruiser over to the house just to be on the safe side. I think that would be a good idea. Mom? Mom? Throw a I'm kill you, I swear! Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so very, very sorry. What are you hugging her for? I'm the one who's supposed to be able to, to count on your support. But you abandoned me just like everyone else. Well, that's going to stop now. No one else is leaving me. Rick, I'll do anything you want. Just don't hurt Allison. Oh, no, it's always about Allison. She doesn't care about you, not the way I do. I love you. I would have done anything for you. I know. I know. I, I want us to talk. I want us to figure this all out. Let's do that, Rick. Can we do that, please? All I ever wanted was a family. I thought I found it here. I thought I found a wife who loved and trusted me, a daughter who would come to me for advice. But you deceived me! It's all your fault. You turned people against me. You got people to doubt me. You got your mother to run away. You ruined my family. And you're very sorry about that, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I'm very sorry, Rick. Doesn't matter. Because if we can't be together in this life, find another way. Forever. For all 
of eternity. Don't, don't, please. Don't hide behind your mother, Allison. The first bullet's for you. You will not hurt my child! I never hurt anyone. It'll be quick and painless, just like all the others. And then it will be our turn. It'll be so peaceful. You'll see, Susan. Don't move. Open up, please! Anyone in there? There are doors around back. Go. Open up or I'm coming in. You're too late, Hal. My family and I are off to ports unknown. And it's a far better place than this. And I'm ready. Ready to stop the pain. Are you? Grab the gun! What? Chris, be careful! Chris! Freeze, oh. Decker. Out cold, but alive, the bullet went through the floor. So why is he unconscious? It was the only thing I had. I went back to the hospital to get a sedative for Allison when I ran into Walker, and he told me that Rick was still on the loose. So when I came back to the house and Allison didn't answer the door, I knew something was wrong. You came back to save me? <laughs> How did you get in? The bathroom window on the second floor. As soon as I got in, I filled the syringe with the sedative, went to the stairs, I saw Rick with the gun. He was the only thing I had. Well, thank God. Well, thank God he passed out before he hurt anybody else. All right, let's call an ambulance, have this guy's vitals checked before we book him. Yes, sir. Mom, even at the end, even at the end, after everything, he was still saying that he loved me. Listen to me, he did. I never doubted that. But he wanted us dead. Look, you know more than all of us, he was ill, Mom. He's ill. Why did it take me so long to find out? Because he didn't want you to. Don't you get it? Look, we have time, all right? Come here, we don't have to figure this all out today. Just know that it's over. It's all over, Mom. Hey, cuz. It's just me. I thought I'd try you at home, but I guess I'll have to try yourself. Great. Five years with the Cadwallers. Mm -hmm. The Cadwallers, that's, that's a very impressive reference. I'm surprised you're not interviewing at home. I like to meet the children I'll be caring for. Yes, of course. Well, my husband and I decided to do this in a two-step process. We'll check the references, and then if we decide that we want an in-home visit, we'll get back to you. Of course, I understand. You can't be too careful these days. Oh, um, I'm sorry, just a second, okay? Molly? Hey, cuz. I've been trying to track you down everywhere. Well, I'm at the Lakeview. Where are you? Rosie's Roller Palace. There's some big charity hoo-ha here tonight. It's gonna be fun. You wanna come? Oh, um, I can't. I'm interviewing nannies for Sage. In fact, I'm in the middle of an interview right this minute, so I, I can't really talk. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You know, I know a little bit about that. Check her references and then check them again, okay? And don't be fooled by some accent. You know what? Better yet, let me come help you, okay? I haven't seen you in a while, and I would love to spend some time with you. Um, well, Molly, today is just, it's crazy. And I want to spend time with you, too, but I want to give you my undivided attention. So how about I call you tomorrow, okay? Okay, sweetie. Wait, Carly, how's the baby? Carly? Carly? Unbelievable. Thank you, Mrs. Bridges. It's a pleasure meeting you. I'll be in touch. Well, you are a bit overqualified to be Sage's nanny, but you look exactly like her aunt, so I may consider you.